some excellent ideas that'll keep you ecstatic during the Easter weekend and you don't have to hunt for things to do. We'll crack a list of hair raising events in this edition of Your City in Five, but first. Families in this Northeast El Paso neighborhood now have an improved playground. Hi there, I'm Ricky Saias. We're here at the Wellington Chu Playground. It's one of the city's newest playgrounds and it's an example of the city's commitment to improve our quality of life. City leaders held a ribbon cutting ceremony for a new playground at Wellington Chu Park on Maxwell. The playground has an area for small kids and older kids. It has swings, a slide, monkey bars and a sandbox. City Representative Jim Tolbert says the playground is a great addition to the community. It enhances the neighborhood, it beautifies the neighborhood, I think it makes the community proud, and that can only lead to even more great things. The Wellington Chu Playground is one of several playgrounds that has opened in the last few weeks. This playground cost about $100,000 to build. Money for the project came from end-of-year savings. A new spray park is making a splash and creating giant waves in the Mission Valley. The Pavo Real Spray Park officially opens on Saturday, April 15th with a huge celebration. The spray park has two water slides, a huge dump bucket, water cannons, and fountains. It's also the only spray park in El Paso to have an area for dogs. City Representative Claudia Ordaz says the new spray park gives the neighborhood more life. Please come out uh, this Saturday. It's Easter weekend, so it's a great way to start um, the festive weekend. Bring your families, um, especially bring your, your pups out uh, to Pablo Real. We'd love to have you. Make sure you come out to the grand opening celebration that starts at 10 a.m. on Saturday, April 15th. It's free and there will be live music, games, informational booths from other city departments, and of course, free food. The city will celebrate the completion of even more projects by hosting several ribbon cuttings and unveiling events. The Community Development Block Grant Week, also known as CDBG Week, allows the community and the Human Development Department to showcase the positive work that has been accomplished through the National Grant Program. This program is aimed at improving moderate to low income neighborhoods. Several events will take place from April 17th through the 22nd, including the unveiling of new park improvements along with a ribbon cutting ceremony for new affordable housing units. A full list of events and the special guests joining the celebration is posted on the city's website. Just search for CDBG Week. Easter weekend is upon us and no bunny does Easter quite like the city of El Paso. Several city departments are hosting exciting activities that are sure to keep families entertained. The Parks and Recreation Department is hopping into action with dozens of free egg hunts at various recreation centers. The biggest one is the Golden Easter Egg Hunt at Armijo Pool on Saturday, April 15th. Kids can swim and hunt for eggs in the pool. The event is free and open to the public. The El Paso Zoo will be hopping into activity on Saturday and Sunday. Visitors can take pictures with the Easter Bunny and get some sweet treats all while saying hello to the animals at the zoo. And if you're hunting for more Easter action, the El Paso Library is an excellent place to visit. Several celebrations, egg hunts, and arts and crafts are planned at library branches across town. Most of the Easter celebrations put together by the city are free. A complete list of events is posted on the Easter's events banner on the city's website, elpasotexas.gov. Easter is a great time to visit city parks to celebrate the holiday, but when parks are packed, tons of trash is left behind. The Parks and Recreation Department says it's up to everyone to keep our parks clean. There are garbage cans at the park, but it's a good idea to take extra garbage bags. And if you take a pet to the park, make sure to clean up after them as well. Elsewhere, you can jam out to some good jazz music at the El Paso Public Library this month. Yes, I said jam out at the library. A few jazz bands are putting on shows at several library branches for Jazz Appreciation Month also known as Jam. The free concerts feature local and international jazz performers. The concerts run through the end of April. To find out where these musicians will be, visit the library online. The Animal Services Shelter is looking for some foster parents to help care for the dozens of kittens that have made their way to the shelter. Spring is known as kitty season because many litters are born during this time of year. The shelter has so many kittens that they held a kitten shower not too long ago to help spur donations of kitten-related items that support the shelter's foster program. Many kittens have already been fostered, but Animal Services is still in need of more families. To learn how you can become a foster family, visit the shelter at 501 Fred Wilson and staff will gladly introduce you to a cuddly kitten in need. 
The shelter is also revved up for a week-long adoption promotion called the Fast and the Furriest. From now until April 23rd, you can adopt an animal for $30. This is the second time that Animal Services has held this car-themed adoption event in hopes of putting animals in the fast lane to a new forever home. For more information on this and other adoption events, visit the Animal Services webpage at epanimalservices.com. That's going to do it for this edition of Your City in 5. Come out here and check out the Wellington Chew Park. Check out this playground. And remember, you can find out more about these stories and other services provided by the City of El Paso by visiting our website, elpasotexas.gov. Of course, we're also on social media, and you can catch us on City TV. Until next time, I'm Ricky Saias for Your City in 5.